Number 10. Liger Let's start off with a species that was born scientifically, but it wasn't exactly bred in a test tube. Scientists often make animals mate that wouldn't naturally, which can create a whole new species as a result, which is the case with the quote, big cat commonly known as the liger. And we do mean big cat as it is the largest in the extant cat species line. It's not just a made up creature from Napoleon Dynamite. This fusion between species is done by having a male lion mate with a female tiger, and the results are honestly pretty horrifying depending upon how you look at it. Because while lions and tigers are huge, the liger dwarfs its parents by a long shot. For example, at max length, they can sometimes get up to 12 feet long, which rivals an abnormally large lion that could be roaming a savanna somewhere. In terms of weight, the largest liger recorded named Hercules weighs 900 pounds. Needless to say, we should be glad ligers aren't naturally occurring in nature, since the quote, circle of life may not be able to handle it. Number 9. Killer Bees There are many tales about killer bees in the world, but those ones are mainly born out of the fear of being stung by bees. However, in the case of the Africanized bee, aka the killer bee, it's a different story, because this is a case of scientific fusion gone horribly wrong. You see, this bee was originally produced through crossbreeding the East African lowland honeybee with European honeybee subspecies like the Italian and Iberian honeybees. Why would they do such a thing? The intent was to make a bee able to go to Brazil in order to help with honey production. A rather noble goal given how bees are vital for the cross-pollination process. The problem though was due to the heat of Brazil as a whole. The bees wouldn't go and make honey in such extreme temperatures. What's more, in 1957, 26 swarms, yes, swarms of these bees, escaped the lab and have been moving throughout North and South America ever since. If you're wondering, well, are they really killer bees? The answer is yes. Africanized honeybees are typically much more defensive than other varieties of bees and react to disturbances faster than European honeybees. They can chase a person a quarter of a mile. They've even killed around a thousand humans, with victims receiving ten times more stings than that of a European honeybee. They've also killed horses and other large animals. So again, this is an example of a species being created that absolutely backfired on everyone due to some unfortunate lack of foresight. Mother Nature is not someone to fool around with. Number 8. Healthier Pigs Heading now to the genetic altering of existing animals, we head to the United Kingdom, where scientists are more than happy to experiment on creatures in order to help them, quote, be better. A great example of this is pigs, the kind that you would find on farms and are used for other purposes. Why would they experiment on these pigs? They're using gene editing techniques to try and make them immune to various diseases that could hurt their numbers and productivity. In 2018, that editing came through when they made a batch of pigs that were immune to porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome, also known as PRRS. And PRRS is a very deadly disease pigs get that causes them to die and hurts the farming industry by over 1.5 billion euros every single year. There's no effective cure or vaccine, and despite extensive biosecurity measures, about 30% of the pigs in England are thought to be infected at any given time. But this gene editing technique could very easily rid the pigs of this problem and help the farms immeasurably. Quote, it's what we call complete immunity, says Christine Tate Burkard of the Roslyn Institute and first author of the work published in the Journal of Virology. Now, if you're curious as to why these pigs aren't a worldwide phenomenon right now, it's because UK regulations prohibit genetically created animals from being on the mark. Gene editing is a loophole to that, but it hasn't been enacted as of yet. But it could be soon. And again, if it does work, is repeatable, and able to be passed on through reproduction, a major swine-killing disease could be a thing of the past. Would you ever eat bacon from a pig you knew was genetically altered? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. GM Mosquitoes Most people would agree that mosquitoes are one of the most annoying creatures on the planet, because they suck your blood, leave your skin feeling itchy, and make very annoying sounds when flying by your ear. But the reason they get the attention of scientists is that mosquitoes are one of the biggest spreaders of disease in the world, and that presents a huge problem for the human population. 
which brings us to the genetically modified mosquitoes, or GM mosquitoes for short. What exactly is modified about these mosquitoes? Simply within them is a self-limiting gene. Simply put, this gene is in male mosquitoes of a certain species, and they're released into the wild to live and mate. But when they do mate, their children don't live past adulthood. So this leaves us with a series of bugs that can ensure the population doesn't grow beyond a certain level. The CDC and the GM mosquitoes creator, Oxitec, state that they would use these mosquitoes to stop the spread of diseases like the Zika virus, and then once the spread is limited, they won't release any more of these mosquitoes. While Noble, the Africanized bees incident states that this may not be as foolproof as believed, especially if swarms of them accidentally got out. It could drastically affect the population of mosquitoes, and that could seriously disrupt the balance of countless ecosystems. Number 6. Human Milk Cows Another reason that scientists often modify animals is to benefit humans in one form or another, and a great example of this is the genetically modified cows that are altered in order to turn their cow milk into human milk. Yes, you heard that right. Scientists in both China and Argentina have genetically engineered cows to produce milk similar in composition to that made by humans. What's more, this modified milk, if you will, is apparently more nutritious than natural milk of human mothers, and as a result can actually boost the immune system of young babies, which many would agree is a good idea despite it sounding pretty strange. However, they're taking this slow, since there are still some serious questions about whether this milk can be safe for the babies long term, and if there are any side effects caused from it going from cows to babies. But if it works, this quote, mother's milk, could benefit a lot of young mothers who don't have the time to nurse their young children. Number 5. See-Through Frogs There are some genetic modifications that can leave you wondering. Why would someone even think of this? An example of this is the see-through frog. This is a frog species made by Japanese scientists by modifying certain genes within the frog in order to make its body translucent. What's the point of doing something like that? Well, it's for research purposes to study what is inside the frogs themselves. Because usually when you wanted to do these tests on the inside of a frog, you needed to cut the frog open in order to see what was there. But with this frog, you can just look inside via the translucent skin and see all of its organs there, no muss, no fuss. This also makes it ideal for those biology classes where some people might be a bit squeamish about cutting into a creature. Number 4. Glowfish if you want an example of how genetically modified animals can change the world in a monetary way, you only need to look at the glowfish for an answer. These fish were created based on the zebrafish and then injected with special genes to make them bioluminescent, aka they made the fish glow. The initial intent was honestly rather unique, as they wanted to give the fish the ability to glow when pollution was nearby, which could help scientists figure out what was going on in certain parts of the waters themselves. But when it comes to glowing fish, they're kind of a target for predators, so the experiment never really worked out. That being said, when you have fish that can glow all sorts of colors, you have the potential for money. And thus, the glowfish became the first genetically engineered creatures to be sold in stores that weren't hoaxes. True to their name, you can get them in a variety of colors. They're so popular that new colors have been released as recently as 2020, and while there is some controversy around the fish and their, quote, true purposes, you can't deny they're unique-looking fish. Number 3. GM Chickens Chickens are absolutely a vital part of our world since they're the basis of all sorts of foods, both in terms of their meat and the eggs they lay. But chickens can also be a danger if infected with the wrong kind of virus or disease. Because of this, many people are looking to modify things about the chickens to try and prevent such things from happening. The Roslin Institute, for example, has been trying hard to modify chickens in all sorts of ways in order to help out farmers, such as trying to gene edit chickens so they will have a way to stop the spread of avian flu before it gets out of hand. What's more, their plans can make it so the chicks would be okay even if the virus begins to mutate. Furthermore, they have identified genes in chickens that can offer resistance to harmful bacteria commonly found in poultry and can inform ways to limit the risk of associated food poisoning in people. While this progress is good, great even, there are some who believe that it's safer to not use these kinds of chickens and instead practice good farming measures to limit the chance the chickens get infected at all. This shows us just how big the divide between the old school and the new school is in terms of animal augmentation. Number 2. GM Salmon 
Salmon is another food beloved by many, and there's a huge market for salmon all over because of its taste. So much so that people are a bit hesitant about eating it in certain numbers because it could hurt the overall population. So how do you solve that? Simple. You make a genetically modified salmon that can grow at twice the rate of other salmon, which wouldn't hurt the population at all. Enter the genetically modified, or GM, salmon. This is a salmon with a growth hormone embedded in it that will allow the fish to reach its full size in about 18 months, way faster than more natural entities in the world. The faster growth rate means that it can be caught faster, sold, and then given out without having to wait, and technically doesn't hurt the population numbers since they can be produced so quickly. The problem, though, is that not everyone is on board with this method for, quote, fast breeding fish. For example, when the fish was first approved to be sold in Canada, they didn't label the fish as genetically modified, and as a result, many customers were mad because they wanted better labeling of their foods. Just as important though, there are still questions about what this kind of breeding can do to the environment and to the natural salmon in the wild. Number 1. The Enviro Pig And back to the pigs we go, but this time with a twist. This genetically modified pig, known as the Enviro Pig, was not meant to benefit the pig per se, or even humanity. Rather, it was designed to help the environment as a whole. You see, there are all sorts of pollutants put into the air by people and animals. One of them is phosphorus. It's a necessary gas in order to live, but when it's poured out into the atmosphere, it can make things a bit messy. Pigs are known to excrete phosphorus, and when that happens in large numbers, it can really hurt the environment. So these enviro pigs are meant to lessen the amounts they excrete. Multiply that across whole full farms of pigs and suddenly you have a serious decrease in the number of gases going into the atmosphere. The reason this works is that instead of coming out of the pig, the phosphorus stays within them. Many are trying to get these enviro pigs into the market right away, but are logically being met with resistance from farmers and environmentalists. Thanks for watching everyone! What did you think of all the creatures being born or altered by science in various ways? Does it make you worried at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time on the Board Badger!